so in this video we are going to talk about servlet and we'll make it using VS code and we'll deploy it on the Tomcat server so first of all let's open the VS code uh, from here what I have to do is create a new Java project I will use Maven to build it and then from here I will select web app select 1.4 that is more latest one and here I will replace this with servlet okay and then this also with servlet the prompt will ask you where you want to have your project I will go to this directory okay I actually have something relatable so I will put it here on NSM right then Mavel will start building it for me and till then I'll show you something first of all I'll tell you about Maven servlet dependency from here I will go to the official Maven site and this is it the official Maven repository and also I will require the Tomcat server right I'll just say Tomcat download it will take me to Apache Tomcat and from here you can download it right I need Tomcat 9 because Tomcat 10 is the 10 and 11 are latest one but uh, this 9 works fine so I work with 9 mostly so I have already downloaded it but if you want to download then you can just do this okay then from Maven repository I will see this one has the maximum hits like 7, 9, 4, it uses this so I'll go with this one and just do this okay whenever you will your school this will be copied to your clipboard and then what I have to do here it is asking me for a snapshot press enter enter and it just build it up for me and then I have to open this right and then coming to this Pomnet XML, uh, we copied that dependency right from Maven. So I'll install it and then see this dependency column. I'll just paste that server dependency here. Okay. Another thing that I want to show you, uh, I'll open the terminal. See the Java version I'm using is Java Dashes version the java version i'm using is 17.0 so from this pom.xml uh, i have this java compiler.source is 1.7 and compiler.target is 1.7 but i'm using jdk 17 so i'll just make it 17 for me and that's it with this part then what i have to do i have to install that tomcat so my tomcat lives here what i'll do so more options extract everything here see i got my apache tomcat so here in this tomcat server i'll just bring my apache tomcat okay Here is Tomcat 9.0 and then see I got my Apache Tomcat. Let's say this it always. Then when I will come to the source code, there is this index.jsv. For now I will rename it to index.html. HTML seems more convenient to me. Okay, and then in main, what I will do, I will make another folder for Java. Here my servlet files will reside. So let's say my first servlet file is demo server.java. Okay. This is done by VS Code. And for now, what I'll do, let's start with a very basic servlet uh, that will take in your username and it will print it. Okay. So I will start with a form. Okay, form action. Let's say action is display. Okay. Then what I have to do, I have to make input. Let's say input a text and we name it username. 
okay and then we need a submit button uh, input type equals submit and value is go ahead now for subject we also need a dis uh, deployment descriptor because uh, we don't know that this action is going to take us at this demo.servlet so for that we have this web.xml that is deployment descriptor in this we will have two tags first of all there will be a servlet tag okay and then there will be a servlet mapping tag servlet mapping tag right in servlet we will have again two attributes sorry two elements so first of all there, there will be a servlet name and uh, for name we will say this is s1 or servlet1 again in servlet mapping we will have this element as well servlet name that is s1 okay and then here second thing will be servlet class see servlet class is this class right so what i will do i will just copy this and paste it over here so this is the servlet class now in here i will have an attribute that is url pattern okay so what will be the url pattern let's see this is the thing right so i will start my live server this is an extension by vs code so whenever i will put something here let's say my name has input right and what i'll do go ahead see cannot get okay it is using get request but see this display is here right this display is here right so it is in the url pattern so whatever action i will provide here this whatever action i will provide here it will become the url pattern so i will put it here right this display came in my url pattern so now this is complete see this deployment descriptor whenever it will see this slash display it will map it to the demo server class so now i have to make this demo server class to do that what i will do i will take properties from generic server okay now see since i have done this uh, java is going to import that now what i have to do i have to override its uh, service method public void service okay now it takes two argument first of all there will be a servlet request uh, a request servlet request let's say this is req and then servlet response let's say this is res right and this will throw exceptions as well throws first of all there will be an io exception and there will be a servlet exception see servlet exception right now see whenever you are getting a request you will be having that access to the attributes of that as well okay so from request i will require that username see from here i am passing this username equal to the bunker right so i will have that access to get that username so what i will do is string name equal to request dot get parameter and what is the parameter see i am passing this parameter right this this thing username equal to the bunker so this username is the parameter so what i will do i will say get me this parameter so i will say username see this username is nothing else than this one okay uh, this username that i made here see this username is similar to that one so i am getting this username here okay see after i get it i will require something to write right so what i will do see if you have to write on something for someone you will ask for pen from them right so same here you will say i need a print writer 
print right here pw and this pw the response will give me that so response dot get writer okay now i have something to write on the response so how will i write it is very simple just say print writer dot print ln okay this is the output will be an html page so i will say html and then there will be a body okay and since every opening tag requires a closing tag so i'll just do this right and this is done what i have to do i have to pass out this name and how this name will look like welcome uh, have a gap and then name that's it let's make it in heading okay h1 and same here h1 right so for now what we have done uh, from index.html we will have this form we will put submit it will go to deployment descriptor it will check uh, which servlet matches this url pattern and it will call this so this should work right this should work but see if i will do go ahead it is saying the same thing because it cannot find that so what's happening i need to tell you that we will use maven to compile this and then get that web archive for us so right now this target has nothing okay i'll go to terminal i will use maven to to clean everything this is the beauty you know see the target got removed and now what i have to do i will use maven to compile it and again i will use maven to make a package see if you want to see this definition first of all i will just run this command okay then i'll show you this pom.xml is like hard to everything so see packaging is done in war package if you see here see packaging is done in war package so in target i will have a war package this war is nothing else than the web archive i will run it on the tomcat server see this turns green right means it's running already and then what i have to do open in browser and see when it will load something happen okay something happen uh, okay let's try it again mm. I don't know what happened but something must have gone mad okay uh, okay now it's working right uh, it takes time to run see the server was a startup in 916 we tried running it before but it takes time right so we are here and I have to enter a name right let's say okay i'm forgetting my own name that's very silly thing okay then i'll go to and see this is the generic server uh, let's try modifying it a bit so what i will do i'll go to this demo servlet class i will say let's copy it and this middle thing we don't need the name now so let's say uh, delete this one as well this is your first generic servlet right and what i have to do is 
add a break statement break and then again in terminal I will say maven clean it all okay then maven package it for me right and I will close this server for now see because I will bring the next package from target and this has finished right this has finished so I'm getting this target and I will run it on Tomcat server now I will wait for Tomcat to run this time and server startup I'm getting this right so means this should work and open it in server right and then I will put my name here and then I will click on go ahead and see we are getting this so we made this web page dynamically right uh, we called this demo servlet and we are getting this web page so that's how servlet work I hope you got this video and that's it for this thank you bye bye